Oh my God, he fucking lives in Breeze. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, what? Uh, this is the burner number I'm on. You may want to make a note of it uh, until they catch up with me on it. 310-663-2694. Does that show up on your screen? Can I give you the number again then? Not that you need it. Now, fuck you. Dude, I'm pissed. I have been jacked more than ass. Jacked more than ass. Including Secret Service, who I talked to and demanded to speak to the duty agent in charge. And they all rolled up the windows and bacon so he said, fuck off. Except one young guy who got out. And then another fat fucker who was a fucking hater. And and I told the fat fucker he should get the back in his fucking Secret Service car. Because I was going to take his bags and tattoo it to his balls. They didn't really don't like that. They didn't do shit about it. Because they knew I was fucking serious. I said, Google the Phoenix. F-E-N-I-X and Google Joseph Edward Cronin and tell fucking Biden if he wants to get reelected or stay in his motherfucking job, he should make a meeting with me or his son real fucking quick because I'm getting beyond pissed off about Uncle Sam fucking with me. Uh, he took notes. He did listen. They videotaped. Whether they passed a the message along or not, who the fuck cares? It's been made public. And they jacked all of my phones, all of my money, and I still don't have my motherfucking COVID check, and everybody I know has it. Do you think I'm being singled out, or is it just like having 46 car accidents, accidents in 48 months? What do you think the odds are? Well, thank you. And when I call IRS, they're like, You'll have to call back. When I call the bank, they're like, we don't know anything. When I call, so nobody knows jack shit about dick squat, except keep waiting. It'll come eventually. When is eventually coming, Dad? Is that before or after I take my last one? I don't get checks. I get direct deposit. So when am I supposed to fucking get it? Well, why don't we file a tax return? If they haven't, I checked again an hour ago, still don't have it. Uh, dude, with my G, with my GS clearance and my top secret and above clearance, I should have already fucking had it no matter what they were doing. Who can I get fired at the IRS today? Can I call the inspector general and shit down his fucking throat? I'm already going to do that with the post office. So why not add him to the list with the FBI and Department of Justice? And then I'm going to call OSC, which the Office of the Special Counsel above the White House and everybody, and raise a shit storm under federal whistle protection and then blow some shit up everybody's ass. Would that get anybody's attention? Probably not. You know what I have to do? I have to fly or crawl to New York and sit on the fucking campground at the UN and shit all over the place and make sure every nation knows how pissed Uncle Kurt is. And then maybe somebody might either kick me out of there or kill me, but at least I don't get an answer. I'm ready to go to the UN General War Crimes Commission in Geneva, Switzerland. I'm that pissed. There are so many crooked cops and crooked feds trying to overthrow the US government right now. I could vomit. And that's real. How much longer do you give America? Do you think we'll make it as long as the Roman Empire, 750 years? How much longer do you planet Earth? If I, fuck no. And I, I'll be surprised if you're in another decade, honestly, in about two years or less, but that's just my thought. But you know, I have thoughts and then they happen and then people go, oh, he really wasn't talking out of his ass, truly. So my thoughts are things. <laughs> Besides, I wrote the code, so if they want to kill me, they're in greater danger than keeping me alive and keeping me fucking insane. Because if they go to World War Three, it goes to DEFCOM 7, which is their only to 5, and they can't override a 7. And if they try to override a 7, I'll take it to 11. It's already written in the code. It'll blow this motherfucker to the core. It'll be 
Earth and Mars. There used to be intelligent life down there. Until they got too fucking Satanistic and misogynistic and a lot of other mystic, mystic bullshit. I'm tired of cults, dude. I'm tired of assholes, criminals with badges, dipshits, motherfuckers, and everybody wants to fuck with me. But, you know, that's just my thought. I mean, maybe I wrote none of it. Maybe I know nothing about technology. What do you think the odds of that are, Bill? About as small as a pencil book. Um, if the FBI came to my house in the 60s, it was Secret Service asking Mummy to stop their son from dialing into the national servers through ARPANET, into NORAD, and rewriting federal code in the 60s on dial-up party lines. Do you think I got any dumber since then? Yeah, I talked too much. I talked too much and I've taken quite a few votes that I have the one thing I know for sure. If I've been running cover that long, it doesn't matter how stupid you make me, I can still make it happen with the right eye blink, the right fingerprint, the right voice print, or the right DNA. Damn, I'm a motherfucker. I thought it through all the way to infinity and beyond. You know what the largest number in accounting history is right now? Aside from my income undeclared, it's beyond the Googleplex. You can Google it and it'll tell you the highest number. It happens to have Google in the number. How ironic is that? Who the fuck came up with that equation, I wonder, Dad? Was that Uncle Sam, NSA, CIA, go fuck myself today? Or Google issues? Who do you think came up with that number, Dad? I think it's like a Googleplexatron or some bullshit number like that. If only they knew the true number to infinity, they might get there someday. Do you want me to give you it in case you need to meet me somewhere? <laughs> I'm not going to send it to you on a phone line, that's for sure. It'll be letters, numbers, and other combinations, but it'll get you there. <laughs> be blessed, brother. Anything new I should know about in the world? Because I haven't had access to news in two weeks from the last time I spoke to you. How long has it been? Yeah, but when's the last time we spoke? Wasn't it a couple weeks ago? I think two weeks ago. I have to because otherwise I lose track of what century I'm in. Oh, no, someone else did that, dear. I haven't had my phone since over two weeks. Why would I butt dial you? Somebody may have had one of my phones and butt dialed. Did you hear? Did you hear my voice? Did you hear my voice? Well, they could have just checked my phone. I could have been arguing to get it back. That could have been a butt dial, but I haven't called you unless I've spoken to you or left a message on a butt dial ever, because I never carry my phone to the spot they can do that. And I always have them in safety mode, so they can't do that, because I don't need to hear someone to have randomly hear a conversation they shouldn't hear. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's probably getting robbed again. Was I telling her to get the fuck out, Satanist bitch? Was I saying, get the fuck out, Satanist bitch? It was a female, not a dude. Did I know who stole my last phone line? No, the last a black man I was arguing with stealing shit. A woman I was throwing out of my tent because she'd been there three days, hadn't done anything, hadn't helped me with anything she found myself with, and she was just expecting me to wait on her like a fucking bitch, and I was getting tired of it. So I said, get the fuck out of here, you fucking Satanist hoe. At first she was all about love and peace, then she loved Donald Trump, and why couldn't I love Satan? Because she's a Satanist, and she's also a Christian, and she's this and that, and why can't we be vampires together? What the fuck? Who sent her from the CIA? Dude, and she was also, she looked completely android, but she had lice all over her back that looked like she was reptilian. It was freaky. Beautiful. She didn't have blonde hair. It was brown this time, but she did have blue eyes. Great fucking body, but reptilian in part. It was a little freaky even for me. But I tried to accept her until she started telling me the other parts of her, and then I was like, yo, I don't know who sent you, bitch, but you really should get out of here before I kill you. When you threaten to kill somebody, they get up and move a lot faster. They may scream at you and call your names, and I they're stealing from me and getting the fuck out. But I didn't care at that point. I needed to get her out of my tent. Because I wanted to get up and take a shit. Or do something without her all over. 
And when I come back in time, they're like, can you move so you get in? She was spread all across the bed like some hoe. I'm like, move so I get in. Then I'm starting to tap on that. Why are you being so rude? Because I've only asked you 16 fucking times to move over, bitch. Oh my God. Aside from that, I'm having a great time being terrorized by everybody, including artificial intelligence, reptilians, and aliens from Uranus. And by the way, aliens do not come from foreign countries. They really come from foreign planets. Whoever told anybody anything else is fucking lying! How do I really feel about it? That's my truth. I'm sticking to it. After experiencing Roswell Area 57 and lots of other classified places that other people can't get to, I know there are really mole people, there really are rat people, and there's sheeple and a lot of other stuff you don't want to know about. It's scarier than a fucking movie, dude. But it's real. If you can imagine it, we've created it somewhere above, or below, or beyond this planet. It's there. And it's not just because I do good drugs. You want pictures and photographs? I'll send you some. Hello? <laughs> Bill? You don't want any pictures or photographs? How about real videos? Would you like some videos of reptilians sent to you? Dude, it's a freaky world I'm exposed to out here. You want me to take you, how far down do you want to go? 30 levels below? I hope they still have oxygen for Uncle Kurt. Dude, yet, you want to know what the underground cities look like? Look at the 1934 Hoover Aqueduct Blueprints in Santa Monica from the Hoover Dam and other places in the world. You would be stupefied if those were really aqueducts when they're big enough to hold highways to move cities. They're the underground infrastructure built back in the 30s and before. Welcome to the world beyond Atlantis and Uranus. Welcome to hell on Earth. Be blessed. I hope to see you sometime before the end of time on this side of the grass. Otherwise, I'll come and smoke over your grave. Let me know where they're burying you. Have you picked your plot? Have you picked your plot? If you die, where do I come to? Yeah, if you die, where do I come and smoke on your grave? Do I have to go freeze my ass over Michigan? You're going to be in an ashtray? Yeah, well, have them give me some of the ashes because I know where I'm spreading your ass. All over Hollywood. I'm going to make you here whether you like it or not. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. This conversation has been recorded for people who have intelligence. For those who don't, go fuck yourself. Um, any suggestions? Can we file a tax return and say they owe me a lot of money so it speeds their ass up? I'll pay you to file a tax return so I can get paid. Why? If you file a return, they have to pay me, right? Hello? Okay, well, I'm going to call and start screaming at Inspector Generals because my guy told me to wait, and I'm not moving to fucking wait, and they should have done it already so they can go fuck themselves. How's that sound? Can I quote you? Okay, be blessed. Hope to see you sometime on this side of the grass. If not, I'll come and smoke on your grave. I mean, your ashes. I'll smoke your ashes. That's it. Be blessed. Make sure Stephen knows how to give me some. Make, make sure Stephen knows how to give me some ashes, since the net'll tell him. Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. Or your your daughter, Sam, might she's lending me the ashes. Have Sam smoke on me ashes. What do you think? Can you do it? Sammy, I need one last favor. Go see Uncle Kurt, the greasy lunatic, one last time, and ha, oh, or send him. If she can send him COD. I'll pay for him. What's the worst that happened? The postmaster general will take your ashes and spread them all over the free press. Be blessed. Thank you, you too. I heard you say it. I'm sorry I talked over you. Be blessed always. Thank you for being there. Be safe. Tell them that. Okay, I'll try. That means I have to shut the fuck up, and you know me. I will never do that. Rock and roll.